Rob comes in with a question about reinstalling Windows and when it's necessary. He asks, should he do a fresh install of Windows if he's upgrading his motherboard from a Z690 DDR4 to a Z790 DDR5 board? I'm upgrading because my current motherboard has physical damage and I'm going to be purchasing a 1400K once they are available. The short answer is no, you do not need to reinstall Windows at all. It'll be just fine. Windows, Windows will notice the change ever so slightly, but the Z690 and the Z790 are basically the same chipset with only the tiniest of differences. But the reason why we're doing this in this format is because I want to answer the question of when should you not and when, when should you, you make the upgrade. If I was upgrading from a B550 to an X570, I would never dream of reinstalling Windows. They're basically the same chipset with some feature differences. If I was upgrading from a B650 to an X670E, I would never bother reinstalling Windows. It's a minor, minor difference. Okay. If I was upgrading from a Z370 to a Z790, then I would reinstall Windows. There's a lot that changed there. We've got PCI Express 5 now. Mm -hmm. The Z670 or Z690 back on the 8th and 9th generation of Intel did not have Gen 5. They didn't have Gen 4. They were nope. Gen 3. Yep. Those were, um, there's a lot of USB different, the chipsets were different. There was a PCI Express. Those did not have a direct connection to an M.2 slot. They now do. Correct. So it would confuse it. More. I don't know on any given one where that line is cut, but I have learned through experience that you run the risk of having, it's not that it's not going to work. Heck, you could take a copy of Windows from, you could probably take a copy of Windows from a Z97 Haswell board from 2014 put it on a 13900K and it might boot to Windows assuming it was installed with UEFI and that you had a UEFI mm -hmm. BIOS back then not a not the old BIOS format until you run into weird funny issues and performance issues and optimization issues and driver issues and the issue is you might not notice it when you first do it but but then you kind of have fussy issues along the way I used to do it I don't do it anymore because I've just it's it's not I think some people think when I say this, they go, well, I did it and it worked. Yeah, it booted, it launched into Windows, it swapped drivers around. That doesn't make it great. That's kind of like changing from an AMD video card to a NVIDIA card without stripping the drivers out using DDU and just stacking old and new drivers and having both installed. You go, well, it all kind of works, it's fine. Why is my game stuttery? So, if I went from a a B550 board to a B650 board crossing over from AM4 to AM5, I'd reinstall Windows. Crossing platforms. Crossing platforms. Now, I'm sure it would boot, but that doesn't mean that everything is going to be rock solid stable. Correct. And I know it's annoying to reinstall Windows and get everything optimized, but I would. In his case, the difference between a Z690 and a Z790 is on the Z690, four of the chipset lanes, not the main CPU lanes, but the chipset lanes, are PCI Express 3 mm -hmm. on the Z690, and they get upgraded to PCI Express 4 on the Z790. And usually that affects the fourth M.2 slot on, on a premium board. So for example, on a Z690, it might be PCI Express 5 on the first slot, yep. four on the next two slots, and three on the last one. But on the same model, Z790, it'll be 5444. Mm -hmm. eh, this is extremely minor. Everything else from the Wi-Fi to the DDR RAM support to the USB is, is identical between the two platforms. So to answer Rob's question, good Lord, no, you do not need to reinstall Windows there. That would be a complete waste of your time. It's larger generations. It's complete platform changes where the socket changed. Now, I know he's going from DDR4 to DDR5. I don't think Windows cares about that change. Okay. That's not... Because the memory... It has both memory controllers in it. I mean, because the CPUs are cross-compatible. Correct. So it supports them either way. What do you want to add to that? What do I want to add to that? 
Now, if you do find you have problems, then yeah, you'll need to do a reinstall, but... I would fall out of my chair shocked if he had a problem. Yeah. I did a move... Uh, I moved a drive recently. Um, I, my We had a motherboard fail on Mini Deals, Mini Deals. computer. Yep. He did. had a X570 Asus Tough Gaming motherboard and i replaced it with a asrock x6 uh x670 x570 70. Oh, what's it called the 139 dollar board what, what was the i can't even remember the freaking model at this point so it was an x570 to an x570 the difference is it was asus tough gaming to an asrock board but they both had two M.2 slots. They both had the same Wi-Fi chip on them. They both had the same... I mean, they were... It was very similar. One was different brands. Yep. And I don't even know if it did anything with drivers. It just booted up and just worked. Because they were the same chipset. And they were basically the same board just from two different brands. So I've done it. I'll do it. But that's the situation in which I won't reinstall Windows. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for the question, Rob. Is that it? Yep. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yes, sir. Yes, but when Junior Deals went from a Ryzen 9 5900X to an i9 13900K, that got a fresh yes. install. Well, that was... Moving that from was, a 5900X to a 1300K without reinstalling Windows is pretty... It's changing platforms. That's pretty dumb. That is your opportunity to get a clean, wiped install of Windows with fresh drivers, especially if your computer is several years old. Mm. A clean install of Windows never hurts. No, it doesn't. And that is one reason why building a new machine versus upgrading is nice. Because you could build a new machine, install Windows, set everything up, and your old machine is still available. Your old machine is right there. Your data is right there. Yep. When you do an upgrade, there's a period of time where you have no working computer. <laughs> Especially, yes. I am not a fan of not having a working computer. No, not at all.